Hey everyone, welcome back. Sorry I have been absent for the last two, probably even longer months. Um, life happens. And, uh, yeah, so I unfortunately, um, I have a very sick kitty that I've been taking care of and my husband and I decided to become foster parents and that uh, requires 10 weeks of training and so we just completed our training portion and it's New England and spring and my gardens and my yard basically consumed my weekends for the last uh, few weeks as it started to warm up though warming up uh, here in New England is it's still pretty cold. Hopefully we'll see some nice weather this weekend. Anyways, um, I finally dove into uh, DCC. And so I purchased a few things. Um, Modeltrainstuff.com had um, a sale for Memorial Day, 5% off. I've been kind of waiting for it. I knew I wanted to buy this for a while, but uh, I waited for a coupon or a promo code that would uh, allow me to apply it to uh, DCC equipment, and that's what I did. So this is the unboxing of the uh, DCS240. It's kind of like the top line uh, command station. So let's uh, dive into what's actually here. So if we look at the box, there we go. Uh, that's everything that's on the box. Try it this way. It's kind of everything. The rest of the box, pretty basic. Uh, let me see here. Open it up. So there's a manual. To, Expected. Uh, I was not expecting this in the box, but a the Loco Net cable tester. So that's in there. A basic Loco Net cable, and the command station itself. So let's just open this. I got up here. There. A lot smaller than I expected. I don't know, for some reason when I look at it online, it uh, always feels like it's gonna be way bigger. Um, so, just kind of quickly rotate it around. Huge uh, heat sink on the back. So if we just look at the bottom. General warnings, power ratings, all that on the front. We've got the five volt input, and you can do, uh, sorry, five amp input and an eight amp input. Uh, then all the various programming and track um, things. This model does have the built-in US, uh, USB, which sort of replaces the need to get a um, PR3. And then it's got three local net ports and your switches down here. And then this model has a function called Easy Roots. Um, I don't know that much about it, so I'm not gonna talk about it until I learn about it. But that's that's what's in the box. Um, I think this thing does come out. Yes, it comes out because I've seen replacement versions of this. Um, so I managed to grab this for a retails. Two ninety nine, and I um I got five percent off, so I'm not complaining about that. Now, if you're wondering why I decided to go with the top of the line one, uh, versus maybe like a DB two ten, which is part of the Evo Evolution starter package, um, I don't know. I I guess I'm just one of those people who I want to have the best. Um, I knew that I was going to want to hook up a computer eventually, so I would have needed a PR3, which is another 70 to 80 bucks, depending on where you get it. And this has it built in. This can handle up to 400 locomotives uh, and throttles, which I, as a individual, would never, I can't even fathom that. But 
Um, at 300 bucks, I didn't really feel like it was too bad. I still need a throttle, which the Evolution Starter Kit is 360. And by the time you throw on a PR3, you're looking at 430. And the Evolution Kit does come with a panel, which I did buy separately for like 14 bucks, and a power supply, which I bought separately for 46 bucks, I think. Um, so. The only thing I still have to buy is a throttle, which I want to get the DT500, and that's another 150 So, I mean, when I add it all up for what's included in the kit um, versus what I bought individually in the advanced capabilities, I'm only looking at like an $82 difference. So I was like, screw it. It's, it's worth the, I guess, future-proofing for this system. Um, and so I'm excited to dive in. Uh, the other thing I I need is a um, I need a locomotive that has a decoder in it. Uh, all I have are older like blue box or stuff that's slightly newer than blue box. You know, after and blue box, um, but they still all need decoders. For my birthday over Memorial Day, my husband did buy me a pre-order of scale trains. Um, GE locomotive with sound already built in. So I'm excited to get that, but I have no idea when it's gonna ship because it's still pre-order. Um, so the only other thing I got, which I don't think requires a unboxing of its own, but is the PM42 for power management. Each one of these can break the power down from here into a separate um, circuit. Um, so that's, that's kind of cool. One of the things I want to get is I believe there's a company, Acculites, I think, which makes, they make little like plug-in cards um, that have like these screw terminals, but you plug in like the PM42 or you plug in the signal decoder or the, um, look, the detection block decoder. Um, you can plug all those in and it's really easy with the screw ports and you're not trying to like solder your lines directly to your rails like uh, or your buses directly to these little tiny pins which seem like a complete pain in the butt and so it makes it a little more modular and I think keeping the electronics clean and organized is going to be a big deal so coming up next hopefully this weekend I will Finish up the video to finish the 2x4 module that I started, which is still sitting in my basement in pieces, but it's supposed to be gorgeous out this weekend, so hopefully I can film outdoors and film it with more space to work, and we will go from there. So, again, this is the DCS240, and hopefully in a couple weeks I will be able to do a video of setting it up and getting it hooked up and going from there. Awesome. Thanks guys.